Hello and welcome back to the course. My name is Piyush. This is day six in 30 days of AWS Terraform. And in this video, we'll be looking into Terraform file structure and some best practices to organize your Terraform project across multiple files. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, make sure you have watched the previous video, especially the day zero video in which I have explained the challenge details, 30 days of AWS Terraform challenge, how to do the submissions and how to participate in that. Now, uh, let's go over here and understand the Terraform file structure. So earlier when we created the Terraform project, you might have seen what we did uh, in the, let's say the day four folder, which has day five content as well. We just created one Terraform file main.tf and put everything over there. Why I did that? I did that to showcase you the basic principles like from where we just get started. So the idea is to get started and then get better and get better and get better, right? So we just got started and now we'll try to improve the way we are working. We'll try to improve the way we are learning. So what we need to do is we'll create multiple files and we organize the resources across multiple files. So first have a look at what we're going to do and then we'll do that. So then there's your Terraform project, the root directory, which is also called root modules. Okay. And then inside that we have multiple files. So that list is not exhaustive. This is just some recommendations, some best practices. Uh, there is no stick format to the file name that you need to use. But, but this is some gen general recommendation from the Terraform from the HashiCorp site that you can use. Okay. So you start with your main.tf, which has all of your resource definition, right? You have your S3 VPC, EC2 and all the resources. You can again divide that as per resource. Like instead of one main.tf for multiple resource, you can have S3.tf, you can have VPC.tf, you can have EC2.tf and so on, right? But it becomes really complex when there are hundreds of resources. You should not be creating 100 different files for each resource type, right? So it totally depends on your structure. But in those cases, we'll use modules modules we are not covering yet. It's a little advanced topic. It shouldn't be covered at this point. But for now, we'll just create one main.tf. Then we'll also separate input variables. So currently input variables in main.tf will create a separate file variables.tf. Similarly for output, we'll have a different file. Then Terraform version file should be inside versions.tf. Provider file will have providers.tf. Then we have backend.tf for the backend configuration, terraform.tfr file we have already created. And then you can also create terraform.tfr.example, which is like a template, like what variable need values and, uh, you know, and this file you can publish to GitHub, but you should not be publishing your TFR files to the GitHub. Why? Because it will have the values, like some values that you don't want others to see and maybe it doesn't make sense to them or it is not really helpful or maybe some confidential data that you don't want to expose, right? So in that case, you just use a template, which is dot example. And then you have dot git ignore dot readme file and so on. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that changes. Okay. So over here we have the backend. So let's pick the backend configuration first. Okay. So let's copy this. I just need the backend.s3. So let me just cut this file from here and inside the same folder or let's create a separate folder. Let's not do that. Okay. So copy it and I'm not sure how do I paste the folder over here. Can I create a duplicate folder? Um, Okay, let me do it from command line. Okay, currently I'm in day four. Let's go directory back. CP hyphen RF day zero four and let's use that day zero six. Okay, so day zero six folder has been created over here. Now we'll make the changes in the day zero six folder. Close all. Okay. So here we are main.tf. Now first let's pick the backend configuration. Okay. And let's create a new file in day six. Let's call it backend 
.df. Paste it over here. Now you will see there is a red sign over here means there is some issues with the file. It's because the backend configuration has to be inside the Terraform block. Okay, so let's create a Terraform block over here. And let's close it over here. Okay, it's better now. So let's save this file. Now backend is out. Now let's separate the provider as well. So I'm just gonna cut this from here. And the main file doesn't need to have the Terraform uh, block. Right. So Terraform auto detects uh, all the files with .tf extension and with the other extensions for the variable files. So you don't have to really provide like what names you are using just the extension should be correct, which is .tf. Okay, so providers.tf and paste it over here. Hit save. Then let's go back to main and then we have actually uh, this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can keep it the same in the same file. Okay, and then let's go back and let's pick the variables from here. Control X and it is showing the error now because I just do a cut and now it is saying these variables that you have used in the file doesn't have any reference. Where have you declared those variables? But as soon as I create the file, it will find the reference. Let's check. Day six plus variables.tf and let's paste it over here. You see everything is green now. So let's go back to main and let's cut locals as well. So we are just separating every single thing that needs to be separated to make it readable, to make it efficient. Okay, locals.tf. Okay. Now, what else do we need? Okay, so resources are here. That's S3, uh, VPC, EC2, and let's separate outputs as well. Okay output.tf it could be outputs it could be output doesn't matter right so this is our final structure now so in the day 6 folder we have backend.tf locals.tf main output provider terraform.tf vars variables and then you can also have a readme file git ignore file because you don't want the terraform.tf file to be upload it to github right so let's create a git ignore dot git ignore and what we need to add in that so anything that start with dot terraform okay and anything that is dot tf state or tf state dot backup right and dot terraform dot log file crash dot log any log file Override, we don't have it, but for now, just let's just skip that part. Okay, and then we also need to add terraform.tf vars. So, terraform.tf vars or anything that is star.tfr.json, right? Uh, let's see anything else. I think we are good for now, and let's add dot terraform folder as well. Right, so this will make sure that all of these files are not uploaded to GitHub. Some files, we don't want that. Some files are unnecessary. Like you don't want to upload the Terraform provider or this content of this Terraform folder. Like it's just the metadata and some plugin configuration dependencies that you need to use while running it. You don't need to uh, expose it externally, right? So uh, yeah, I mean, this is what we have done and this is the simpler structure. Now there is a complex structure, which is this one. In that, what we have done, uh, we have separated the files in different environments. So there are multiple ways. You separate it in different environments like separate configuration for dev, separate configuration for staging, from prod, or you can create separate modules for each resource type. Like for networking, there's a separate module for compute, separate security, separate and so on. Then you can also have different folder for script, for docs, uh, 
some global resources like IMS3 and you can have, I think this is missing the TF var files, uh, this particular thing. Oh yeah, over here. So currently what we are using, we are using same file. So there are multiple ways. One is this one in which we are using different files for each environment, like different main.tf for prod and different main.tf for staging. But there is another way in which we can use the same file and put that in the root directory or in the modules. And then we just need to use different TF var files for each environment, right? So all the environment specific configuration can go inside the TF var file of each of these environment. So this could be a little confusing at this point because like it's, it's a lot if you are just a beginner, right? It's a lot. So we will be covering this. We'll create the entire end to end project later on this in this series. So for now, just you just need to understand this part, the one that we did for the demo. Okay. And that's more than sufficient. So that's it for this video. In the next video, let's see what do we have in the next video. In day seven, I believe it's type constraints. So if you go over here, um, we have covered till day six. Yeah. So day seven is type constraint. Now we'll be doing uh, hands on into these different type constraint with the help of example. So everything is hands on uh, going forward. So yeah, let's let's catch up soon. Make sure you complete the task given in the GitHub repository. Make sure you do the submission and you do everything that you have been doing so far. You have been great. You have been working really well. You have been doing a good learning. So make sure you do that. You keep doing that and you keep uh, learning in public. Okay, so that's it. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow with the next video with day seven, which is type constraint. Thank you so much for watching.